Hello and welcome to this Forex preview at XM.com. I'm Maria Bashardis and joining me is investment analyst Marios Hadjigiriagos. We'll be discussing the upcoming Fed policy meeting. So Marios, it's going to be a big week for the dollar. The much anticipated Fed rate decision is coming up on Wednesday. A rate cut is essentially a done deal. Do you think we'll see the expected 25 basis points cut or will the Fed make a more aggressive cut of 50 basis points? I'm more in the camp that says they are just going to cut by 25. And there are a few arguments for that. So the first one is, you know, if you're the Fed, you have relatively limited firepower on rates. So you have so much room that you can cut. You don't really want to use too much of that limited firepower so early on and without the economy really being in trouble. Now, that's also a view that has been voiced by one of the most dopish policymakers. So the president of the St. Louis Fed, James Bullard, who actually voted for a rate cut back in June, recently came out and said, you know, I'm for cutting rates by 25 basis points, but maybe 50 is overdone. I wouldn't really be on board with that. And I tend to agree with him. So I believe we're just likely we're going to see a 25 basis points cut on Wednesday. And then perhaps if it's needed, they might cut by another 25 basis points in September, for example. Okay, I see. And of course, how does all this affect the dollar? Uh, over the last few weeks, it has been outperforming most of its major peers. Could the greenback come under pressure after the Fed meeting? Well, here's how I believe it's going to play out. So the market is still pricing in a 20% probability for an aggressive 50 basis points cut. What does that mean? The market is overly dovish in a sense. So if they just cut by 25, that would argue for a spike higher in the dollar immediately on the decision. Now, whether or not that spike higher is sustained or not will depend on the signals that they send about the you know, the pace and the depth of future rate cuts. So is this a one and done rate cut or is this a beginning of, you know, perhaps an easing cycle and we could cut a few more times during the year? Now, I think they're more likely to signal the latter. So we're cutting today and we may, we may very well cut in the coming months again. There's no, uh, there's no argument for you know, for appearing too hawkish right now. I don't think they're going to, they're going to keep the door wide open for more cuts. So what does that mean for the dollar? We might see a spike higher on the decision, but most of that strength could fade and perhaps even the reverse, and we could see the dollar trade lower overall as the chairman begins to speak and, you know, explains the thinking behind the decision. Right. Marios, thanks for joining me, and thanks for watching at XM.com.